Morning. Today's rear wheel test begins in a car. That's because we're going to take a road trip. I figured going upstate might be a good backdrop for testing the new iPhone 12. Okay, made it to the hotel. And I'm staying on the outskirts of a town called New Paltz, which is kind of like, kind of like a little college town, um, but it's cute, um, but it's nestled up in the Hudson Valley. So we're kind of surrounded by like mountains and trees and you couldn't tell as, you know, we were leaving New York City and getting closer and closer up here, you could see the uh, terrain changing quite a bit. But let's head into town and first things first. Coffee, check. This is the Main Street Bistro and it's everything right about a small town diner. It's super quick, good food, hot coffee ready to be poured. And it seems like every other person that comes in here is good friends with somebody that works here. I like it. Okay, another coffee, because duh. But real quick, let's talk about kind of the look and feel of the new 12. Now, if you saw my iPhone 12 Pro video, I apologize, because a lot of this is gonna be the same. The device has much flatter edges now, which is to make room for the millimeter wave antennas, apparently. But regardless, I actually really like it. It reminds me of the iPhone 4. Um, it feels good in the hand. It's just, it's just unique nowadays, honestly, so I kind of appreciate it. For the screen, we have a similar OLED screen to the past iPhones that we're used to. So it is pretty bright. I can easily see in the daylight, which is important to me. Um, but other than that, it's what you expect. And this is the regular iPhone 12, as opposed to the iPhone 12 mini that is not out yet, but will be $100 cheaper than this one and a lot smaller, which I'm actually really interested to check out, but that'll come in a later video in November. Now, compared to the iPhone 11, the screen is a very similar size on this 12 model, but the phone itself is actually a little bit smaller, which is great. And the phone itself comes in five colors. Now, the iPhone 12 Pro I mentioned has four colors, but they're a little more like subdued, a little more matte. The finish on the back is a little softer and has like a texture to it. I actually kind of like it's like frosted glass is what it feels like. Whereas this is a little more traditional glass and the colors are a lot brighter and poppier. I personally like the colors of the Pro better, but I'm sure there are plenty of people who will like these colors instead. And lastly, the same as the iPhone 12 Pro, we do have our MagSafe kind of accessory ecosystem, I'm gonna call it. Essentially right now, Apple has a magnetic charger for Qi charging that snaps to the back of this and uses magnets to keep it there, hence the Mag and MagSafe. But they also have like cases that do that and they have wallets that do that. And a bunch of other companies are actually making a lot more mounts and things for your car. And you're gonna probably see a lot of these down the road, but you get that no matter which model of the iPhone 12 you buy. All right, real quick, let's check in the battery while we're here. It is 2.34 PM and we are at 71%. And now, uh, I wanna see if we can get into the mountains before it gets too dark. Okay, 
Okay, so it's a little late to do like a proper hike, um, but we're gonna do just a, a short one to get some photos. This is Lake Mohonk, and it's part of the Mohonk Preserve, which is what I just hiked through to get here. Fun fact, the word Mohonk, people believe comes from the Lenape tribes, a similar word um, that means place of bears, which is reassuring. I'm probably gonna be going down uh, at night on the way back. And this hotel here is called the Mohonk Mountain House. And to me, it has this like really Harry Potter vibe, no? Uh, fun fact, I was actually gonna try to stay here, and then I looked it up and it's like $900 a night right now, which is crazy. And honestly, it's a weird thing that's happening because of COVID, a lot of New Yorkers are just trying to get out the city as much as they can. And those that can afford to do so are just, just inundating all of these hotels up here in like the Hudson Valley and just the surrounding area. And they're driving prices up which is crazy. I mean, good for the hotels. They're making some of the money back that they lost, you know, in the beginning of COVID when everything was shut down, but like, I don't know, I wanted to stay here. It was pretty. All right, really quick. Now let's talk a little bit about the cameras while we're here. So an interesting thing is the iPhone 12 actually has the same wide and main camera as the iPhone 12 Pro. And compared to the iPhone 11, they are very similar as well. The only difference is that Apple put a faster f1.6 aperture on the main lens instead of the f1.8 uh, and changed the lens design. So all of that is supposed to let in a lot more light in low light situations. And I actually think it's interesting about the 12 and the 12 Pro because the only real difference camera wise is you lose that two times telephoto that the Pro has and you also lose the LiDAR sensor, which is good for autofocus and AR and like portrait mode at night, etc. Um, but I, again, if you go watch my 12 Pro video, you'll notice that I didn't really notice much of a difference. Some people did in low light, but I didn't really. So I don't know, I feel like just like with the 11 and the 11 Pro, the top selling phone from Apple between those two was the 11. So I feel like the 12 almost gets to the 12 Pro. It covers enough of it. There's probably a lot of people that would rather go for this and save a little bit of money. Hey Siri, when is sunset? Cutting it close. Well, it was bound to happen at some point. Crash the drone. <laughs> but, eh? Only thing wrong with him? He's got one broken, uh, broken propeller, which I have spared, so we're good. Thankfully though, he got caught right in that tree. So I just kind of had to shimmy my way down carefully and then back up. But again, drone secured. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm, Nowhere near out of the forest yet, <laughs> and it's getting dark, but I did find a paved trail. And so I'm actually walking by the cliff that I went up that I didn't realize there's another way, and that's why I was dying. Um, but I'm not gonna take that back down because I'm a little scared that the sun's gonna go away while I'm in the middle of that, and that's gonna be very hard to see. So paved road, a little bit longer, but uh, hopefully we make it soon enough. So I realized that the Sony actually is cheating. 
because it's got really big pixels and a big sensor. And so it's showing you, me, in a much more lit situation that's actually the case. This is far more accurate. <laughs> made it that was fun okay and uh dinner head southeast on pine road toward butterville road your destination is on the right and i ended up at like a super cute little irish restaurant just on the outskirts of town called garvin's which is actually the name of the owner and then his wife is the partner and she makes the soda bread which i just said which was fantastic but the house that it's in is from 1759 which is older than this country so that's crazy but it's adorable and the food so far pretty good It is 8.14 p.m. and we are at 30%. Okay, calling it a night. Uh, I got back a little bit ago and I've just been kind of looking at footage and then messing around on the phone and social and just messaging people back who I've ignored all day. Um, but got back early because, well, it's a small town and also COVID and so everything closed at, well, nine here. So that was that. But regardless, I'm exhausted running around the woods. Apparently we'll do that to you. But it is 10.35 p.m. and we are at 12%. And here is my screen on time, my usage for anybody who is curious about that. As far as battery life is concerned, it's pretty good, I would say. I mean, I was using the GPS and all sorts of things today, uh, taking a lot of photos, a lot of videos, etc., and I still got a, a decent amount of time out of it. Also took the phone off at 8.15 in the morning and it lasted a full day for the most part. And it feels probably comparable to me to like the, the 12 Pro, for example. The one I'm really interested in, well, the two, is the iPhone 12 mini, because I worried about that's battery life. And then the iPhone 12 Pro Max for the exact opposite reason, because the 11 Pro Max like had such good battery life. I'm kind of hoping that the 12 Pro Max does the same. But you guys, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video, what you think of the phone. Um, if you have any suggestions for improvements on the format of this video, trying to make it better for you guys, Always love hearing from you. If you like this video, though, please thumbs up or share it. It's greatly appreciated. I'll check out the rest of the channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe and ding the bell next to subscribe so you can notify when I do new videos. As always, though, regardless, thanks for watching.